guys. Uh, it's Friday morning, the 15th of December. As you guys can see, it is snowing outside. Uh, we've gotten, I think this is our third snowfall so far in the last week and a half. Uh, haven't really accumulated to anything, uh, but nonetheless it is snowing, so it is officially winter time. Uh, I took the day off uh, just to blow some vacation days um, before the year ends. So I'm just getting out of the house for the first time today. It's about almost two o'clock. Uh, did some fucking around the house. I'm gonna go pick up a prescription. Uh, we're gonna jump in the F-150. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, a couple of new things that I figured out about this the other day. And uh, we'll get a quick snow drive uh, again. <clears throat> it won't be exciting uh, because it is accumulating anything in the snow. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll get a nice little snow drive, so. Get her fired up here. <coughs> and I actually just realized the other day that this is my water temp, and that's my trans temp. For some reason, I've been wondering why my water temp's always been cold, because I'm used to water temp being on this side. So that is actually the trans temp. Uh, more importantly, something I found out the other day from the forums. Um, <coughs> for the first time the other day, I decided to try sport mode in this car, uh, or in this truck. I thought sport mode was going to be a gimmicky thing. Um, you know, it's it's a fucking truck. It's not really supposed to be fast. It's got a little engine. I just figured the sport mode was going to slightly adjust something and make, make people feel like they had something fast. Holy shit, was I wrong. Um, now I understand what you guys are talking about when you say that the uh, 2.7 Eco is, uh, is kind of like the cat's meow. Uh, I understand why this is the highest selling motor right now. Um, I've heard that the 2.7 beats out the 3.5 Eco quarter mile time in six, uh, zero to 60, beats out the 6.2 uh, Raptor, which we have one next door. Uh, maybe I'll see if I can convince the guy to, to run one off one of these days or I'll get some footage of that. Um, and the five liter. So I wasn't buying it, it's a little engine. I am totally the guy that'll tell you the replacement for displacement is boost. Uh, I've always believed it. Um, there's just nothing that's gonna change at all. Pretty much all my vehicles are boosted for that reason. I've had tons of boosted vehicles. Um, I just feel it's the way to go. Um, so again, I found out the other day, I think I showed you guys in the last video, you got the drive mode selector right there. So if you tap that, you got five drive modes. You got normal, till haul, snow wet, eco, and the elusive sport mode. Um, again, I did not think this did much, but if you guys have ever seen the Tesla videos where the Tesla guys turn it on their insane mode, this is basically what it was like. Um, I had a friend come over, he has a turbo diesel uh, Jetta uh, that he's screwing around with right now. He also has an STI that he's building and he's had a whole bunch of DSMs and shit like that. So he's a turbo guy too. Um, he wasn't in the truck yet. So I was like, hey, you know, let's go, let's go out. You know, he wanted to see what it was like. Uh, see if he wants to maybe pick one up. <clears throat> so we go out on the main road, and I said, now let's try something new. I've never tried the sport mode. Let's see what it's about. So he's like, yeah, why not? You know, let's see what this thing got. So I put it in a sport mode, and uh, I did not do it from a dig, so I did not launch it. I did it from a low first gear roll. Uh, I did a 1 to 10 roll, and holy shit, that thing threw us back into the seat, and the thing just launched with so much, not launched, but this thing rolled with so much momentum, it was unreal. Um, I did not get tire spin, um, I, I did not have any traction control issues lighting up, uh, so that was a good thing. So I'm going to try it from a dig when it gets a little bit warmer, see what it does. Um, again, it's a truck to me, I didn't expect it to be fast, I don't plan on racing this thing, maybe I might just for fun um, at this point, but you know, that's what I have a Mustang for. But side by side with my q50 i mean my q50 was a 330 horsepower car um that thing was pretty damn quick i mean that was a, a very low 14 high 13 second car from the factory i mean it was a fast car and what i felt with this thing in sport mode with this being whatever the hell these things weigh over 5,000 pounds or something 5,600 pounds whatever they weigh um <clears throat> this thing would have rolled that q50 no problem i, I do not see any problem at all with this thing rolling that Q50. Uh, one of the other things I found on the forums, one of the guys was telling me about, about the traction control. So you have your button up here to turn off traction control. And you'll see right there it says turn traction control off. However, if you press it two times, 
it turns on an advanced track sport mode. Um, what that does exactly, I'm not sure. Um, from what I understand, the regular sport mode uh, may change uh, the way that the gears hang, um, changes the throttle tip in, and, and some other things. I don't know, maybe it adjusts timing and things. Um, but that advanced traction control, not sure what it does. I'm not sure if maybe it's a little less intrusive um, version of, well, I guess it's shutting off traction control, so it's not even a less intrusive version of traction control. I'm not exactly sure. I haven't tried it out yet. I just found out about that the other day. So we're going to try it out once some of the snow melts and it gets a little warmer. We'll see what it's about. Uh, but otherwise, we'll uh, get the windshield uh, scraped off here. We'll throw a camera up top and uh, we'll do a quick ride out to CVS to go grab my prescriptions and uh, do a roll in the snow. We'll be back in a few. All right, guys, uh, this did not go exactly as planned. Uh, I don't have my other mount on me. Uh, and when I stick it on the windshield, the uh, mount doesn't turn out right. So we are uh, just going to deal with this. Actually, you know what? We're going to go get the, uh, the head mount. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're going to go to the head mount. Uh, we will see if... Uh, We'll see how many people can look at me like I'm retarded driving around with a head mount on. So, um, this may not be overly exciting for some of you guys, but uh, hey, what the hell? All right, so we'll turn the advanced track back on, <coughs> we'll take it out of sport mode, we'll just put it in regular mode. Um, again, there's not really much accumulation here. <coughs> So if you guys can see the backup camera, um, I don't have anything behind me, but you'll see it'll do the corners as well as the back. If I had something behind me, <coughs> I think would uh, it would start blinking. All right, guys, and if you can see my uh, nemesis right here, uh, my buddy next door's got a Raptor. Uh, well, again, we'll see if we can get some footage with that thing. He's a little bit older guy. He runs a trucking company. Um, just got rid of his F-250 um, and got that. I don't know why he got that instead of the F-250 because he actually needs it for work duties, bringing tools, bringing tires and shit like that for his uh, big rigs. Um, and he actually has a plow for it. So uh, it should be rather comical to see him plowing with that thing. I don't know that he really understood what that truck was about or he just doesn't give a fuck i just think he doesn't give a fuck the guy likes toys he's got a brand new uh, corvette uh he's got like five or six uh, uh 18 wheelers he's got all kinds of cool shit he's got a motorcycle or a couple motorcycles so i just think he likes toys this guy like me he's an older guy uh, he just wants to uh spend his riches and have a good time so i can appreciate that i just told him i want to get some footage of uh of him when he has the plow on it so that should be interesting to see a raptor with a plow i know you guys probably have not seen that before <clears throat> um overall the uh, f-150 has been pretty pleasant to drive uh we got almost 1200 miles on it now uh, if you guys saw my other review i did about a thousand miles um everything's going good so far i don't have any qualms with it uh, i'm getting used to driving something uh, of this size the only thing that i have a hard time with uh yet is pulling into parking spots uh what i'm finding is when i'm pulling straight into something um i just i can't see over the hood to get a good judgment of how far into the spot i actually am so usually when i'm pulling in the spots uh i'm finding that i'm not pulled in enough and the bed of the truck is sticking out a little bit um so i've been trying to back into as much stuff as possible because I have the uh, rear cameras and the sensors. However, when I'm going to the mall and things are tight already in the uh, lanes of the parking lots, I'm not trying to back into stuff unless I really have to. It's just a little tough. Um, but you know, the same goes with um, <clears throat> if you're pulling through spots, that I will do. So pulling through spots is still a little goofy too, because again, there's nothing in front of me. So I have nothing to judge how far out of the spot I am. So I'll try and put it in reverse and then look at the backup camera and hope that I can see the lines uh, of the parking spot. But uh, I haven't been overly successful in that either. Go ahead, go ahead. So I have not been uh, overly successful in that either. It's still a little bit tough because, uh, you know, when you get close to the lines, you can't see them anymore because there's still a bump out of the back bumper. 
Um, just a little tough to see, but uh, one of these days when I get time, I'm going to try and go to a parking lot or go someplace where I'm forced to parallel park this thing, see how much of a joke it is to parallel park it, and just try a few different scenarios where there's an open, some open spaces <coughs> so I can see uh, what it is like to, uh, I don't know if this guy's going fucking straight or making a left, um, so I can see what it's like with a little bit of space. Um, so yeah, we'll just get some more practice. I know, sorry I'm rambling on. I'm <laughs> thinking about something while I'm doing this. So right there's CVS. We're not going very far. Uh, after the CVS, I'm going to go grab myself a sandwich at the uh, gas station down the road. We'll go back and chill for the rest of the day. But I uh, figured uh, it was a good time to, to see how the truck drives. See it's not jarring on this little trip. Um, again, if any of you guys are on the fence with these things, um, it is a great truck so far. Gas mileage, I mean, it's not stellar right now. I pounded on it a, a couple times the other day. So this is going down to 17.7 right now. Uh, I think a lot of that is attributed to me letting it warm up in the morning for 10-15 minutes. Um, I nailed on it that couple times in sport mode and was fucking around. So uh, now, too, it's getting cold. It's 22 degrees right now. Um, so I'm thinking all these things are attributing to it. Um, we will see how it gets when it gets warmer out. I'm pretty positive it's going to be significantly better in the summertime. Uh, but we will see. So uh, I'm going to go pick up my prescription. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. So interestingly enough, I did get the parallel park the truck for the first time. I don't count it a real parallel park, though, uh, just because there is nothing really behind me. So it's just more of backing into a spot. Uh, I'm actually in between two spots right now because I couldn't see shit because of the snow on the ground. Uh, but whatever. Nobody's going to judge me, and if they do, fuck them. So this guy was not parked behind me before, but he is now. Um, whatever, though. Let's see how much space we got to get out of here. Um, so again, I have not uh, found this thing to be overly nimble yet, but it's not bad. I mean, all right, I was able to get through that okay. It was a little tight. Um, the steering is actually a pretty nice steering ratio in this thing. Um, Honestly, I had a Volvo S60. I had a, I don't know, an 04, 05, something like that. Uh, and that thing, as much as I loved it, the steering uh, response or the, the steering was just really weird the way it was set up. You had to do like a fucking six point turn to get into a parking spot at the mall. So basically it was like driving a pickup truck, <laughs> honestly. <coughs> Um, so this is actually uh, fairly pleasant uh, steering-wise, steering ratio-wise at least. Um, so the turns feel good. Uh, it's a little light in the back, so I found out when I was pulling out of CVS, I went through the backside. I went through the drive-thru to get my prescription, and uh, the, the snow was a little bit thicker there. So without having it anything special, just a regular two-wheel high. Um, so it did feel like it uh, spun a little bit going through there, even just easing it out. Uh, so we're going to go a different, little different way home. Uh, traffic was a bitch up on that main road, so we're just going to go through the developments. Uh, this one links over to my development. So we'll just kind of go through here. Uh, my buddy that I was talking about uh, with the, the Volkswagen and the STI, he actually lives right there. Um, that's one of their Volkswagens. Um, so he lives right there. Uh, we're going to get some videos with him one of these days. Um, he's got an 05 uh, white STI. Um, he's got an upgraded turbo. I mean, it's a stock frame turbo, but I think they did some work to the turbo. Uh, ton of suspension and chassis shit. Um, he's had this thing ripped apart for a while. He's going crazy in certain areas, but he's not going crazy. Like, turbo is a stock turbo that's been worked a little bit. Different wheel combo, I think. Or billet wheel, I think he did with it. Um, you know, the engine is stock-ish. He may be doing a little bit of porting and cleaning up. Did new gaskets. Shit like that. Um, suspension, he went balls to the walls with suspension. Upgraded brakes. Uh, I think he did some tubular stuff, new sway bars, 
shit like that. Um, so it should be pretty rowdy. I think he said he wants to do a mix of E85 and I don't know what the hell he called the other shit, C85 or C65 or something like that. So I think his goal is he wants to do 400 and 400 of the wheels uh, on that combo and just throw a lot of timing at it and a, a healthy amount of boost at it and see what it does. Um, I don't know much about the STIs and know if he'll do it. Um, I came from an Evo background. Um, so he used to, uh, we first started hanging out when I had my Evo or a little bit before I had my Evo. Uh, but he always loved that thing. I had an FP green on it. Um, I had fuel, it was cammed tubular manifold uh yeah, a bunch of shit to it I had a twin disc on it and that thing was rowdy um so i think he got his sti right around when i was getting rid of my evo maybe um but i know he was always a little jealous of the evo i don't know why he got an sti considering he's a dsm guy um he had uh quite a few first gen dsms and he had uh i think he had two second gen dsms as well so I don't know why he went with a Subaru this time, but I don't know. I mean, it's a nice car. It's a clean car. Um, so he's going a little nutty with it, uh, with some of the shit he's doing to it. But it's been torn apart for over a year now. I keep on busting his balls, asking him when he's going to get done with it. He says, you know, by the spring. But we'll see. He said, I'm going to try and get over to his house. Uh, we'll do an overview on the car, uh, try and get some videos of me helping him here and there. Uh, he says he's going to come by and help me do my top on the Mustang as well. So we will uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll get some future videos. Uh, you can see a little farm at the beginning of my development. There's always cows that graze over there. Dogs like going over there to walk so they can uh, bark at the cows. <coughs> well, we're on my block now. Again, you can see the snow's not really laying too much yet. There's nothing real fun to go out and rip the... Uh, rip the truck around and if we get a little bit more accumulation tonight maybe i'll take it out we'll go do some donuts somewhere or something see how this goes again you can see uh you can see ron's snow plow that he's got for the raptor right there i just i still just think that's ridiculous but uh he needs it so i guess where he parks his uh 18 wheelers at he needs to plow those spots in that lot or else he won't get them out of there. So I think that was the logic with it. All right, so we are all home. And we can go inside. I'm eating my lunch. I got me an Italian sandwich from Redner's. A uh, little gas station area. Uh, I love these fucking Italian sandwiches. I don't know what it is about these, but I love them. Load them up with some mayonnaise. And uh, those things are banging, so... Uh, we are all done with the uh, drive around slash vlog slash whatever you want to call this. Um, you know what? I'll show the uh, I'll show the uh, CarPlay real quick, just because I happen to have my phone on me. So you'll see it should automatically switch over to the uh, Apple CarPlay option. So this is what you get if you've never seen CarPlay. This is what CarPlay is like. Uh, you got your Ford Sync. I don't even know what the hell that does. I don't think. Okay, so that just basically goes back to that screen. Uh, you got your Pandora. You got Maps. So if you didn't have navigation, this is great. So you don't have to pay the money for navigation. Um, I have this on my Mustang. I have an Apple CarPlay type unit on the Mustang, so I use that for the free Maps option. Um, you know, you got your music. Uh, phone contacts messages would you like me to read your message so a new one? read on uh, a unread message i'm having a bit of trouble here please try again unread messages so you see in my message list and we got our messages from cvs telling me my shit's ready just a moment this i'm is looking for messages 287 898 said CVS Pharmacy Pietro your RX is ready for pickup all right so uh, essentially you know pretty straightforward um, you can use Siri by holding this button so we can tap that call Jen calling Jen Manichiato so if we wanted we can call somebody we're not gonna call her because she's at work right now um, you know, you can do a uh, send text message. 
send text message to Pietro Manasciotto saying, how are you doing? I don't know if it's going to do it because I'm sending a text message to myself. Your message to Pietro Manasciotto okay. says, how are you doing? Do right. I need to send it? Yes. I'll send it. All right, so it's going to send a text message to me, and you're probably going to see it pop up. Boom, there you go. How are you doing? It also comes up on your screen. Pietro said, how are you doing? Want to reply? No. Okay. So, again, this is, this is a great function because you can actually get and reply to text messages that way, whereas the regular uh, functionality without CarPlay plugged in, you can't reply to them. Um, I don't really have anything else loaded. We got Pandora. Um, if you wanted to do Siri, you can also do Siri from here. Oh, I guess it's going to switch over to Pandora. Maybe not. All right. So, uh, again, you can hold in that button. Say, call James. Calling James Patterson. So, let's call my friend James. We'll hang up on him because I don't want to call him. Um, so, again, real straightforward stuff. It is a cool option. The screen mimics exactly uh, what you would see. On your iPhone, you know, not exactly what you would see on your iPhone, but you know, essentially your iPhone layout. Um, so it's a really cool option if you don't have navigation unit like I have. This is an awesome upgrade. This is great for you if you have navigation like I have. Uh, you know, it's minimally better. You know, it's cool that you can uh, send and reply to text messages when they pop up. Um, instead of having to reply directly on the phone. So that's cool. Um, you know, the Pandora options is, is cool. It's nice to see a nicer layout. Um, other than that, you know, again, if you have nav, it's a little bit minimal. Um, and then here's what it looks like with your stuff through Bluetooth. So apparently you can still use Siri over Bluetooth. Call Pietro Manasciotto. Perhaps not. Call Pietro Manasciotto. You'd need to unlock your iPhone first, but I don't advise doing that while you're driving. All right. So apparently uh, some of the Siri functions when it's not plugged in doesn't like it to work. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll play around with that a little bit more. Text messages otherwise, though... Uh, for new text messages, okay. Um, there was another option when you actually get a text message that it'll read it. Uh, we have our Wi-Fi set up here, system hotspot. Um, see if we can do a system update through this. I've never actually tried this before. Um, bounce sync. Pretty sure this is probably already up to date. Scan for updates. Let's see if it does it. Must be connected to a Wi Fi network. I don't understand that. Um, it's on its own damn Wi Fi network, so I don't know why it needs to be plugged into that. Um, anyway, it's getting hot. I'm going to go inside. Uh, sorry for screwing around here so much i was trying to show you guys a couple cool things uh but we'll get this loaded we'll come back later if there's anything you guys want to see on this truck uh let me know uh if you guys want to see the veloster i'll do something on the veloster too uh but uh give me a thumbs up give me a like give me a subscribe let me know what you guys want to see and i will try and oblige uh so we'll see you guys later i'm gonna go eat my sandwich and i'm gonna chill out and watch a movie on my day off